go over everything I've been eating for the past two weeks. Today is July 14th. On July 1st, I decided to do a challenge for myself where I ate super, super close to true carnivore with the exception of a little flexibility uh, on a few days and sauces and seasonings and the beverages that I drink that some people may not consider carnivore. Let, but like I said, this was a personal challenge and I'm doing this because I was allowing things to sneak back into my way of eating that maybe shouldn't be there. And it just was a good reset. It's time to reset. So I documented every day for like four days and then I couldn't keep up with that. But I have been trying to at least take pictures of things or videos of what I have been eating so I can talk about it. The first thing, chicken fries and the chicken fritters, which I'll have those videos up on my shorts tab. I'll link those. I'll try to find the recipes and post those in the description too if you're interested in the chicken fries and the chicken fritters. I preferred the chicken fritters. So the difference is I used ground chicken instead of canned chicken and I dipped them in the ground up chicken breast that is the chicken flour from Carnivore Crisp. I have a discount code. I'll put it in the description. And they got super, super crispy. They were amazing. I feel like if I put a pickle inside of that, I don't know. I feel like there's a lot of things I could do with that. Anyways, I really enjoyed those and they're super easy to make. And then bacon and eggs, been on repeat as usual. Nothing super complicated there. Also mentioned in the very first video I did where I was talking about cleaning up this way of eating that I was increasing my electrolytes. I'm kind of slow. I've kind of slacked on that actually and I probably need to increase them because I had a cramp in my foot last night so I need to really get serious about it. These are the electrolytes that I use. They're from Element, 1000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, 60 milligrams of magnesium, no sugar, good clean ingredients, lots of different flavors. I, I pretty much stick to the orange and the watermelon these days. I also do the chocolate salt in my coffee sometimes. I love how many flavors there are to pick from. So I try to, I'm going to try to get more electrolytes in my day today because like I said, I had a cramp. As usual, Element will send you a free sample pack with eight different flavors to try. Pick your favorite. Um, that's free with purchase if you go to the link on the screen or the link in the description and Element will hook you up. Thanks again to Element for sponsoring today's video. Okay, after the chicken fritters and the chicken fries, I, I kind of ate that like three or four days in a row, to be honest. They were super easy to make. The kids liked them too. I liked them. And I had some homemade ranch, which I will link that recipe in the description for you guys as well, because I get asked that all the time. It's not mine. It's Melissa's, but it's the best ranch dressing on the face of the planet. Hands down. You cannot tell me it's not once you try it. Then I, what did I eat after that? Cheeseburgers have been on repeat as usual. That's nothing new. I love cheeseburgers and ground beef. So also with the ground beef, um, the ground beef that I have, I get from our local butcher and it has organ meat ground up into it. So it's super nutrient dense. And then I made my meatloaf, but I left out, I didn't chop up fresh onions and I didn't do bell peppers in it, which sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. Um, so it was just ground beef, garlic powder, salt, and oh yeah, yeah, uh, pork panko. And I added extra eggs. I think normally I put two eggs and this time I put four eggs. So it was even more like robust. Robust? It was good, really good. I also put a little sugar-free ketchup on top of mine. I'm eating a little bit more strict, I'm, but I'm, I'm still allowing for my favorite sauces. So sugar-free ketchup on my meatloaf and I made a huge batch. So I ate on that for several days too. Also, I had salmon, which if you watch that real or short, I, I said in that, I don't really like salmon. I never have for as long as I have been alive on this planet. I've never liked salmon. I tried it when we were in Texas again for the first time in years and I actually liked it. So when we got home, I bought some wild caught sockeye salmon and I baked it in the oven with some garlic butter and salt and pepper on top. And it was really good. I dipped it in garlic butter also and I enjoyed it much more <clears throat> dipped in the garlic butter. So highly recommend making extra garlic butter to dip it in. Uh, deviled eggs 
for 4th of July. I made fresh deviled eggs, hot dogs, um, that I made my own slaw and had slaw dogs. Um, I don't have that recipe because I just basically threw stuff in there. It wasn't, I didn't measure it. I didn't go by somebody else's recipe. I just threw ingredients in. So I used the pre-shredded cabbage from the, uh, from the Walmart. Chosen mayo, which you can make your own mayo with butter or bacon fat if you're wanting to have a truly carnivore mayonnaise but I just didn't have time for that that day. So I used my chosen mayo, which I really love. And so I had deviled eggs and hot dogs, slaw dogs, and cheeseburgers. That day, no buns, obviously. I, I forget that maybe some people don't know that, but it's always no bun. Oh, shrimp scampi, I made shrimp scampi. I just got the um, pre-cooked shrimp from Walmart. And then I flash fry them in garlic butter and then pour more garlic butter on top of them. And I eat a lot of shrimp. Obviously, they're tiny, so I guess I ate about a pound of shrimp. And then we went out to eat when we were in Nashville, and I had an 8-ounce filet, an 8-ounce filet mignon with chimichurri sauce that they make in-house. I had deviled eggs there. I had some salmon. And then that night at dinner, I had sea bass with a truffle so uh, cream sauce on top beef carpaccio, sashimi, yellow fin tuna and ahi tuna, and a few bites of Ken's steak, which was, my God, so good. And then the next day we ate at the Nordstrom Grill and I had French onion soup, no bread, and oh, a chicken cob salad. So I, I had a lot more veg veggies on that particular day. And then that night, I got at Cheesecake Factory Steak Diane, which is a steak with mushrooms and onions. I'm sure there's probably a little sugar in that sauce, but I was gonna let it go. And then I also had their shrimp scampi, and it was really good. Um, but I'm, I'm pretty sure there was something in that sauce. And I haven't had Steak Diane in so long, I couldn't remember how sweet it was. It wasn't super sweet, but I'm pretty sure there was sugar in there. It was Bonnie's birthday, so we're gonna let it go. And then the next day we ate at a brunch place and I got eggs benedict and I just added bacon and sausage and that's it up until we got home yesterday and I made this oh yeah <sighs> groundbreaking recipe that happened on accident you have to try this I cannot tell you how to make it right now but I'm going to make a how to make it recipe dedicated video because it's that good uh, I took ground chicken cooked the crap out of it, drained off all of the juice, then fried it in my frying pan, same pan, with a little bit of bacon fat, fried it till it was, there was like no moisture left in there. And then I added cumin, garlic powder, coconut aminos, just a smidge, and fried egg up in it. <laughs> fried an egg in there as well, mixed that up. Then I added some slaw that I had left over from the 4th of July and cooked it down just, just a little bit. The slaw was still really crunchy. And then I poured some GHQ's miso, I think it's called Asian miso sauce. It's sugar free. Like I said, I allow a little bit of sauce more than a lot of people probably, but you could, I'm sure there's a recipe out there for you to make this sauce and make it clean but I used the GHQs and it was fine. It didn't seem to give me too, too much of an issue. That, the way I cooked that ground chicken tasted, it made it taste just like hibachi chicken fried rice. And I've eaten that like four or five times because I keep making it to, to get the recipe so I can write it down for you guys because the first time I made it, like I said, it was total accident. I thought it would turn out okay, but I didn't know it was going to turn out that good. So I'm going to try to do a tutorial video for you guys and maybe actually a blog post for those of you who like to print out recipes. Now listen, I'm not a cook, I'm not a chef, I'm not a, I'm not a cookbook author. So just go easy on me when it comes to writing down recipes and telling people how to cook things. I think a demonstration video is gonna be the best way to go. It's very quick and easy. Also, it doesn't take much time. And it's just good. It's very good. So 
that pretty much covers everything that I've been eating for the past two weeks. I don't think I've missed anything. If there are links to recipes, I will put those in the description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Hit the thumb on the way out and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one. Love you, mean it. Bye.